I'm literally optimizing for just, I just want this to be equivalent of verbal shit posting. Like, uh, <laughs> man, I'm dead serious. I just need stuff that makes me happy in life. I mean, yeah. you need to walk people through this one. This is just so glorious. So I'm trying to uh, think. I'm trying to think how this. Uh, oh, son, man, close them DMs, dude. Uh, <laughs> mate, you told me to pull the tweet up. <laughs> Somebody blur that out. Then whoever's watching this, blur yeah. that out. <laughs> Sensitive information. Like, so. Trung and I, we talk about the mechanics of memes all the time. It's like, you know, in the first three seconds that this shit's going to mm. be going. Check this out. Three and a half million impressions on this thing. And it was just like, ding, 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 ding. And somebody responded. I had this in the back of my mind, but somebody responded and said, you should sell this as an NFT. I was like, say no more. Here it is. <laughs> say no more, man. <laughs> say no more, man. <laughs> okay, hold on. I got to say, I got to say something. I, there's a couple of things I want to comment on. Number one is, so Jack's talking about how we, we talk about the metrics. Jack said 20%. He's like, if you have a, a was it 20% engagement? Yeah, against yeah, yeah. Views? Engagement, right? Yeah. 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 So, whatever I, I i don't get that very often but when i do i like i just tell my wife i close the door and i just like <laughs> and then <laughs> yo i'll play man we might need that son all right but hold on jack <laughs> i got <laughs> i gotta tell you something as you were explaining how you made that art piece i was like this is so fucking dumb and ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> No, it's so ridiculous. It's just so simple. You literally just did this thing. This thing probably took you like less Love than you. 30 seconds to put together. But then Jackson would be like, hey, man, yeah, the 30 seconds plus like the 15 years of practice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we've, we've been joking with Trung, who, by the way, are you still, you got to get you off zero, Trung. I, right? I don't want to talk about it, but I have <laughs> no, zero. I think I that was your next crypto. agenda item, yeah, we had, so... <laughs> I mean, we could talk about it. It's funny. It literally, after listening to Michael Saylor on the Pump podcast, I'm like, okay, oh, fuck, fine. I'll buy some Bitcoin. And I go on Coinbit. And it, I mean, this just speaks to how the perseverance gene just was, when well, this instance was not strong with this guy right here. So I go to Coinbase. They're like, hey, man, your cap is $750 a week. I'm like, Jesus, Christmas. I would have to do, I just want to buy, all, I'm like, all I want are three coins. Somebody just give me, I literally just wanted three coins. Let's talk a little bit about Coinbase because you just brought it up there. Um, so I said Coinbase like my uncle from Pakistan there. That was funny. Coinbase, that was funny. <laughs> so, <laughs> Coinbase. But their numbers just came out. Oh, they're um, stupid. They're stupid. Yeah. Trunk, let's, stupid. let's hear the breakdown, man. The running joke we have in our chat is I went on CNBC once. And, and <laughs> ever since then, I've been at, I've been tweeting at CNBC to get me back on. And completely ignoring me. But uh, Bilal pulled up a really funny comment from the YouTube video. I was like, I was wearing a hoodie. I look like I'm in middle school. And uh, and the guy's basically like, this is like, this guy's calling the top of the market. They have a guy wearing a hoodie that looks like he's two years old <laughs> on CNBC. But man, I like those comments. But like, if you're reading through two, 300 comments and they're all just like, it's just, there's no point, right? There's 1.7 million want, people. Somebody's yeah. going to be upset. Yeah. I don't want, yeah. I, don't, I want constructive criticism. I just don't want these this jabs in this document how having said that the positive one just give me that dopamine son tell me how good the jokes are keep me going hold on fam hold on a second i i got i i figured something out while you posted this obscenity you want to know what happened on march 22nd that oh. was the day all the banks dumped Arkegos Capital's portfolio. Jack <laughs> Butcher was responsible for the blow of Arkegos. <laughs> and so for the uninitiated, Arkegos Capital was built by an investor named Bill Huang. Bill Huang had turned $200 million in, in 2013 into as early as, as recently as just last month, a $20 billion exposure. If you add on leverage, a $100 billion fund. It essentially started blowing up on March 22nd. That's when all the banks that lent him money uh, uh, did a margin call and sold him off. But th that's, that's irrelevant. The whole point here is this. The reason it happened now, the piece of the puzzle that has not been reported by Wall Street <laughs> Journal and Bloomberg is that Jack Butcher put up a photo of two square white boxes and sold it for 150 grand. Trung, Trung DM me said, let's just roast Jack. <laughs> And his NFTs. Uh, he's been practicing this for weeks. Yeah, yeah. He's got a script there. Teleprompter. Yo, Jack called the top of the market, fam. He just called it, son.